Hey, it's the newest member of our happy little family. I need your help to find the lieutenant. Our soldier friend said he saw Napoleon El Pequeño's private island. So you and me are going to take a boat from a dock in Siniestra to Cayo Villarreal. We take out this Singao and Jose's whole operation crumbles. But keep this between you and me, okay? Papa's got enough stress to deal with right now. See you at the boat. Need some wheels. Don't fuck with the seat, it's just how I like it. Thanks a lot. Nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm, good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once, south of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lift. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, it's the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. No me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See, si. That's how we got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. doesn't have a plan? His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon El Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit, but if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. 
We can't keep reacting to Hussein. It's not working. We need to try new things. Be agile. Stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. Smoking Mexican? Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come me at us. Shit. Que pasa? Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's... With the lieutenant we were looking for. Looks more like a scientist. Let's take Jose out. No. You might hit the lieutenant. What's going on? Fuck. Hey. Over there. I need to know where that scientist is going. Let's search his place for intel. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad can help.
still have to find intel on where that scientist went. He says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island. Madre de Dios. No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. El Pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojone. Can you let me in? Done. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny.
watch. Go down with her and fight. Hostage. Come here, please. You, get me out of here. Please, help me. Estoy tan contento que me encontraste. Dios mío. Gracias. José es un monstruo. I thought I would never see my children again. I don't deserve this. Espada. Jose was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. I shouldn't be surprised. I found where that scientist works. This Ingao we saw earlier. His lab's in Refmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then are you going to tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. So why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El come mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon e Pequeño's operation, make him look bad in front of old Uncle Anton. A lot of heat, so how you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? And then we kill more soldiers. Simple, I like it. yourself, Danny. Valar.
Jose Castillo, and I have a very important message for my fellow true Yaras. Dealing with a fake Yaran is not like dealing with a disease. Our best chance of survival is in early detection. Keep running. Investigate your co-workers, your neighbors, your friends. And Hang on, I'm on my way. Okay. Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time? Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Vete pal carajo. Ale. Suéltame. I believe in Castillo. I believe in Viviro and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon el Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. <laughs> Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running to the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you got yourself. What is it? The spike? The sword. Wow, clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa, I'm sick. I don't care. Papa gave up on me a long time ago, and you know it. Family's a bitch, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa. 